What's up YouTube, Jeff here from GadgetHacks.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the new OnePlus 5T facial recognition on any Android phone running Android Nougat 7.0 or above. The 5T recognition has been lauded for its fast and accurate unlocking and also the fact that you don't have to actually go to the lock screen and swipe up once you use it. Right now I'm using Google Smart Lock and I'll show you guys really quick. Once I press the key to unlock the phone, it's going to show you a little facial icon here at the bottom and then when I peek my head out from behind the camera to unlock, I'm going to have to swipe up. So you can see right there, the little unlock symbol comes up and then I actually have to swipe after using my face unlock. That's kind of a pain, It'd be really nice to skip that and that's what we're gonna be able to do today. So as usual, we have a little written article over at gadgethacks.com with the full guide to do this. Uh, it's basically these steps here, but written out and fleshed out in a nicer way. You can check that out in the description if you guys wanna follow along while looking at the video. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the auto input app from the Play Store. So if you just go to the Play Store, search for auto input, it's the first one you'll find right there. This is actually a Tasker plugin, but you don't need Tasker at all, so don't worry about that. Once you get the auto input app, the next thing you'll wanna do is actually check out the beta for auto input. So there's a link in the description for that, and you guys will be able to click on that. It says here I'm already a beta tester, but you'll have the option to join the beta once you click on the link and open this page. Once you do that, head back to the Play Store, go over to your apps right here. There should be an update waiting for you for auto input, which you'll need to update to get the beta. If not, just go ahead and refresh here. The apps updates, you should see your update for auto input come through pretty quickly. Once you've done that, you've got to do a few things in the app itself. So when you open up auto input, there'll be an option here on the main page to either start a free trial or to buy the full version. Now I went ahead and bought the full version because I want to use this feature uh, for a long time. I don't want to use it for just a week. The uh, free trials for a week if you want to try it out, if you're not sure if you're going to keep it, uh, it'll be right up here. You can tap on it, do one of those two things. Once you either buy the full version or try the free trial, then you'll basically have a screen that looks something like this, except you'll need to enable accessibility services. So I wanted to show you really quick what it looks like on a phone that doesn't have them enabled. You see it's in red, so obviously you need to tap on this go into your accessibility services, and then you'll just wanna scroll down to auto input, tap on that, and then enable accessibility services. It's gonna tell you, you know, everything about accessibility services, has some access to your phone. Go ahead and enable it for the purposes of this video. You should never have accessibility services on for an app if you don't know what it's doing, that's important. So now you can see it turns green right there. So then having, heading back to my essential phone where I've already done this, the next step, is to enable the very first option here which says auto dismiss key guard. What that's gonna do is when I use facial unlock, it's gonna go ahead and get rid of the lock screen so I don't have to swipe up, which you guys saw earlier. So the last thing is, obviously you have to have a face set up in the facial unlock settings. So in order to do that on your phone, you're gonna to head to security. And then once you go into security, you'll see smart lock right here in the settings. Go ahead and tap on smart lock. You'll have to enter your pen or your pattern you'll see trusted face right there. Now I already have one set up, but you can tap on this, go in there, set up a trusted face as I've done, and then you'll be able to use the feature. So now you can see we've got everything in order. We've got the auto dismiss key guard on, accessibility services working in auto input. Go ahead and hit the button, go back to the lock screen. Let's see if this works now. If I peek my face out from behind the camera, it should just skip that lock screen. And you can see right there, it does. So it does take a second. You can see here on the essential phone, I am running the Android Oreo beta. So it might be even faster on your phone if you're not running a beta software. Uh, but it, you can see obviously it's pretty stable because it even works with the essential beta uh, and it is working pretty nicely for me. So I'm really impressed with this. I really like the fact that you can get that OnePlus 5T feature on any Android phone running 7.0 or above. Again, you guys can check out the full overview of how to do this, gadgethacks.com. The article is in the description below. Please comment if you guys enjoy the feature, like, subscribe, hit our notification icons. We'll be doing future videos like this. Really appreciate you guys checking it out and happy gadget hacking. Have a great day.